Hi, and welcome to day 15 of 40 Days to Mercy. I'm Peter Gordon, and I'm a parishioner at Mary Queen of the Apostles Parish in Salem, Massachusetts. I'll be your host on these daily exercises as we examine our conscience to prepare for Easter. So don't forget to download our guide. See the link in the description below. Subscribe to this channel and share the videos with people you know. Well, today's topic is selfishness. Now, other than day eight, when we talked about blasphemy, all the other topics so far were positive, things that we are supposed to strive for. Now, today, we have something that we're supposed to strive away from as Christians. The book that this video series was inspired by, Father Hector Munoz's Will You Hear My Confession? He gives a definition of selfishness, which is an immoderate, excessive love of self, resulting in an inordinate attachment to one's own interest at the expense of that of others. This definition highlights that selfishness is an extreme. It's okay to love yourself. God loves you. It's okay to watch out for your interests. It's okay to take care of yourself. However, listen to what Jesus says about being a disciple. This is from Matthew chapter 16, verses 24 to 26. Then Jesus said to his disciples, whoever wishes to come after me must deny himself, take up his cross, and follow me. For whoever wishes to save his life will lose it, but whoever loses his life for my sake will find it. And what profit would there be for one to gain the whole world and forfeit his life? Or what can one give in exchange for his life? So what does it mean to deny ourselves? Perhaps another way to ask that question is to ask, well, how can we tell if we're too attached to our own interests at the expense of others? Some of the characteristics are described by St. Paul in his letter to Timothy. He said, people will be self-centered, lovers of money, proud, abusive, disobedient to their parents, ungrateful, irreligious, callous, implacable, slanderous, licentious, brutal, hating what is good, traitors, reckless, conceited, lovers of pleasure rather than lovers of God, as they make a pretense of religion but deny its power. One way we can think about how we may be selfish is by looking at how we spend our time. How do we use our money? How do we share our strengths? Are we using what we have to share with others around us, our families, our friends, our neighbors, our communities, the poor? Or are we using them to gain power or seek fame, increase our wealth, or to seek pleasure? For the purposes of this examination in our day of mercy, we can think of specific instances where we've acted selfishly. Those kinds of things we can bring to confession. If we think of patterns of selfish behavior that we have, we can bring those kinds of things to healing prayer. With that background, let's begin our examination for day 15 with a prayer, and then ask ourselves some questions. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Come, Holy Spirit. Heavenly Father, help us understand you as a God who loves us. Help us to see ourselves as you see us, and to love ourselves as you love us. Here's our questions for today. Who is at the center of our lives? Ourselves or God and others? Do we regularly practice humility, service, compassion, or almsgiving? Heavenly Father, Release us from our attachments to self-centered goals. Help us to be more humble, compassionate, and giving. We ask this in Jesus' name, amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Well, that's it for day 15. God bless you, and I'll see you tomorrow.